I'm here to share with you guys my super secret squirrel cigar box swap um, my box that I made for my partner um, by the time that this video goes up she will have already received this because I didn't want her to see it and um, spoil the surprise my partner this month that I was making for was Tanya Gibbs who is psycho moms here on YouTube and heart attack <laughs> so a little bit of pressure yeah a little bit of pressure so anyway um Tanya had stated that she loves and forgive me if I say it wrong Rana uh, from house of three and so I went to Rana's site and I took some inspiration and I happen to know that that Tanya loves hot air balloons they just make her all giddy and so that's what I did. Um, I was lucky enough to receive a hot air balloon die cut from uh, my Titty Boo. And this is the last one that I had left. So I went ahead and used it. I've covered it with um, uh, printery paper by Prima and punched out with my Fiskars Punch a couple of uh, banners because on Rana's site, um, the first thing you notice is a hot air balloon with some banners and a little rosette. And, and I used the Tim Holtz rosette for this and the Prima Amazing stamp set, which is by Rona, and a little uh, Stampin' Up butterfly that I punched out. So uh, this paper right here is like from 2008. <laughs> it's 100 years old. Oh, no, just kidding. But um, it's the corner of a piece from Teresa Collins. I cut that out. Uh, the paper in the background, this is a script by Recollections. It's from last year. I decided to keep it really simple, distress the paper. Um, I used staples to connect the pieces to add a little more industrial look. I splattered it with a charcoal gray. Um, I painted the whole thing in a charcoal gray to begin with and then uh, whitewashed it and then put the paper on and whitewashed that. And for the feet here, which is like my favorite part, I punched out with Martha Stewart punch these little circles, a printery paper, and I stamped with the stamps. And these are actually children's play blocks. Isn't that cool? And I just painted them black and dry brushed them. I really love that. So she's got random letters, but each block has something else um, stamped on it. So fabric back here is a canvas. Um, fabric. I double layered it. I unraveled it and then I hand stitched and stamped this in Kaiser Craft Cream and this is a stamp that I got from my kids and it says the woman who works with her hands only is a laborer. The woman who works with her hands and her head is a craftswoman. The woman who works with her hands, her head, and her heart is an artist. Some die cuts uh, these are laser cuts from Gina Hubbard. Gears here. I have a uh, couple of clock hands, and then I have another gear stuck up here with a Making Memories Brad in it. Um, this is actually a piece of the printery paper that's a clock. I punched it out and then put a glass bobble over the top of it. This paper here is from 2009, and it's Prima. This is a Wild Orchid Crafts uh, carnation. I just love these in a very soft, creamy yellow. And then these are really old Prima pansies. There's a Tim Holtz journey key here, and I've taken the paper and rolled it back, and I put some Recollections flocked paper here in a very pale, creamy yellow. Um, this is my grandmother's button. Came out of my grandma's button jar. And this is just some recollection bling and repeated over here. And then for the inside, I some more of that script paper right here. Recollections as well. And just backed it with some uh, paper tray ink. Uh, cream cardstock to get a little weight. 
This is a die cut that I received from um, Amy, Worker Forever 123. She was kind enough to send me that, and I thought it was perfect because Tanya loves to take uh, pictures. She's really, really good at it. I wanted it to be a little interactive, so I um, used a Tim Holtz clip and just a little piece of the cream cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. Wrote say cheese on there. If she wants to, she could add a picture. Added some floss to the cap there to make it look like it was attached. And then this is that really old 2008 Prima paper. But I think it, you know, it adds a little fun to it. So using what I have, that's really the key here anymore. So, and then I just uh, punch this out with a Fisker's punch. And that's her box. We were to make a uh, organizational journal. I did make covers for her journal. This is uh, uh, Mariposa DCWV paper, glossy accent, all the details. And then I made a simple pocket on the other side and with some more of the paper. So that's the front cover. And then I made an envelope pocket. Again, really simple. And there's some other things that go in this, but I'm not going to show that. Uh, the back cover, and I glossy accented this, this and that as well. I wanted to bind it, so I left it like this so she could choose. But I included whatever she needed. A little box. This is just one of those little wood boxes that you get at Michael's. I covered it in the Prima printery paper. Um, distressed all the edges with the walnut ink. Just, you know, adding a few little details here and there. Another one of those laser cuts by Gina. Super, super cute. This was a die cut that I had received. Paper here with a lace background. Some of the little Stampin' Up! butterflies. Um, another one of Gina's gears with a printery clock in the background because Tanya loves clocks. Um, a little piece that I had cut out of a Tim Holtz uh, along the edge die and this is the discard basically. And it's out of some gold embossed paper, which I thought was really cool. And then uh, Lydia had given me last month some of these clear stickers. And this one says Create on it. And I just love them, so I decided to use it. And then just some Recollections Black Bling. So I saw the cone already. My Tussie Mussy. Um, Tanya was getting this too. There's a little muslin bag um, with the same stamp that I used on the box. And then last but not least, so I made her dress form. Um, I did it in black and the, um, well this is more of a robin's egg, deep robin's egg, um, but it's in the blue tone and I know she loves the blue and I put a little gray and cream in it. Um, so I made it black. It's a black cage. And again, a textile bobbin. And this is a 100% wool. And then I did um, the MFT little mum out of some gray wool here and put a little bling in the center. Uh, around the edge here I gathered some seam binding that I hand dyed um, with the cream boule and the gargoyle gray from Lindy Stamp Gang. And then just added some pewter looking uh, chain and a little squirrel charm. And Tanya loves hearts too, so I included a heart there. And then this is some vintage lace um, that's really old. I used it on a tag that I had given her. And then uh, just some trim here, and that's it. And she'll just have to add some glue to it, and it'll be all good. Full view of it. And have a great week. Bye bye.